Over the years, I've seen many patients with warts, and in this video, I'm gonna cover what you need to know. I recently saw a patient called James, and he had this lesion on his toes. He was wondering what it was, and he wasn't sure how to get rid of it. He didn't like the way it looked. And if you're struggling with warts like James was, in this video, I'm gonna go through what you need to know to get rid of them. So what exactly is a wart? Well, warts are very common lesions caused by an infection of the human papilloma virus. You might have heard of HPV before because it's linked to lots of other conditions as well. These are benign lesions and benign lesions means it's non-cancerous abnormal growths. There's different classifications of viral warts. Viral warts can be classed as cutaneous or mucosal. Genital warts are generally classified as mucosal types of warts. A cutaneous wart is normally on the skin and is often referred to as a verruca or a papilloma. Warts can generally appear on your hands, your feet, but can develop anywhere on your body. In James's case, they were on his feet and it made him feel self-conscious when he was going swimming. A plantar wart, which is a wart on the sole of your foot, can be painful when you're walking. Although James didn't have any pain, I have had many patients who noticed that when it was rubbing while they were walking, they were having quite a lot of discomfort. What causes what? Well, that's the first question that James wanted to know. Where did they come from? As I mentioned earlier, it can be caused by the HPV virus and there's more than 150 types of this virus. When this virus affects the skin, that's typically what will cause a wart. This virus is usually spread from skin to skin contact and you can have had the virus for a long time before you notice any skin lesions. If you keep scratching the wart or touching the wart and touching other parts of your body, this can also spread the virus. It can also be spread from surfaces which have the virus, the floor in a swimming pool or a public shower. How are warts treated? A lot of warts will disappear on their own within around two years. So if it doesn't bother you, you don't always need to treat it. In James's case, he did want to treat it because it made him feel self-conscious and he was embarrassed about it. These treatments are generally available over the counter and they come in different formats like gels or creams. One of the most common treatment methods is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid works by gradually removing the layers of the wart, helping it to break down and eventually disappear. To use salicylic acid effectively, you might want to apply the acid directly onto the wart after soaking the area in warm water to soften the skin. Gently rubbing the wart with a nail file or a stone can also help remove any dead skin before reapplying salicylic acid. Another common method is cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is when you use liquid nitrogen to try to freeze the wart. Generally, this happens in one to two week intervals. Remember that this treatment is uncomfortable and it needs to be performed by a doctor because sometimes you can have blistering of the skin or complications if you don't use it appropriately. Another common method that people often use is duct tape. There's varying reports of how effective this treatment method is. This generally involves using duct tape for around six days and replacing it if the duct tape falls off. There are other treatment methods available like these, but some of these treatments are very specialized and need to be performed by a doctor. When to see your doctor? Well, if you've got a new lesion and you think it's a wart and you've tried over-the-counter treatments and it hasn't worked, then it's best to come and see a doctor. It's also really important to see a doctor if it's bleeding, become really painful, it's affecting your daily activities, or you're immunocompromised, or have a condition like diabetes. This is because we want to prevent any complications from occurring, and it's best to see a doctor to make sure the diagnosis is confirmed and you're using the right treatments. In summary, even though warts are generally non-harmful, they can be incredibly annoying. Try some over-the-counter treatments if you think you've got a wart. In James's case, he used salicylic acid as well as using the stone to gently exfoliate. His lesion disappeared after a few weeks. And remember that you need to be patient as it can take months to disappear. If it's growing, becoming painful, or you're not sure what's going on, make sure you see a doctor. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. If you click the word subscribe or write a comment, it really helps my channel to keep on growing. Thank you.